It's been a while since I wore a cap. The reason why the hair gets flat. <laughs> but why am I wearing a cap today? It's because the ocean stole! <laughs> 2003. Oi, oi, oi. The ocean stole. It's about Trent, a teenager boy, running from his big brother. <laughs> That's why I'm the only child. <laughs> Not the lunch. Anything but the lunch. So Trent and his brother Dylan has moved from Paris from his mom to live with his dad in Australia, a small town. There's absolutely nothing to do. Nothing interesting happening. They go to a new school. Too fast, too fast. Too fast. Woo! Okay, okay. <laughs> On the way, he sees a sea turtle. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Take your hands off our turtle. Don't you know better than to touch a protected species? <laughs> Only if it mistakes you for seaweed or a jellyfish. We meet a green the rest of the gang. Very endangered species. Come on, the leader. leader. <laughs> Great human discovery channel. Hey, don't make me use this. Oh no. Oh, nothing. Glasses. Sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the kids are trying to help the sea turtle, but they cannot touch it. So they are late for school. Oh, by the way, I know the feeling when your sunglasses are broken. It happens to me a couple of times. But I glue them together. <laughs> <laughs> On the way, Trent meet... <laughs> Clive! <laughs> you got eyes in your bum, kid. What are you looking for? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, okay, okay. Really? How will you know when you find it? <laughs> After 40 years. I'll know when I found it. So Clive has spent 40 years looking for absolutely nothing. <laughs> no, he's looking for the ocean star. He says he's looking for Carla's bracelet. Hmm. And who's Carla? <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to the most spoiled child. Doing, he shouldn't be doing it. Have you told him Reg Davies doesn't lose? I want my bracelet found. Don't worry, okay. honey bear. I promise. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Not the best start, Trent. Spare me. <laughs> oh, hello. You must be Trent Stedman. Trent's joining us from Melbourne for the rest Even of the Even I have the school uniform. Is that the latest <laughs> over the East? <laughs> what are you doing? I hope they don't hurt themselves. Let's go! Gemma Carruthers. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, good morning. Well, what's the plan here? <laughs> Oh, she was seeing you. What did I tell you about lateness last week? Oh, the people who are late without reason spend lunchtime on emu patrol. We found a sick turtle on the beach this morning, so we had to show the ranger where it was. A turtle? A, a turtle on your mind. Ask him. He saw it too. A I didn't see nothing. On the beach this morning? <laughs> what an imagination. <laughs> <laughs> So Carla and Trent become really good friends in the first episodes. <laughs> She's not that good person. Oh Gemma, you <laughs> missed a bit. Oh. <laughs> Small town girl. City boy. <laughs> so Trent and Gemma are already rivalry. <laughs> That's the liar's pole. <laughs> oh, is it? What's that? The bossy pole? <laughs> oh. What's this one? It's the loser pole. What are they talking about? Pole! Okay. Right. Hip a pole! <laughs> you didn't need to get us in trouble. And you started it. Me a tourist. <laughs> I'm staying here for the whole year, so that makes me a local. It takes more than that. How hard can it be? Watch the wildlife. <laughs> you okay in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Oh Just my. <laughs> Is that for real in Australia? Can that really happen? <laughs> I think snakes can happen. Oh. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Here. Kiss it. You might turn back into a princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have made an enemy. Oh no, Trent. So end of the school, Gemma and the gang. Oh no. Not the water fist! Oh. 
So on the way Trent going home, he sees Clive again. Oh, I really like the sea, deep sea helmets. <laughs> oh, I will. What? How can I buy this? So he finds a wood sketch about something a star, and he steals. So everyone is looking for Carla's bracelet. Two hundred dollars reward. This isn't working, shiny starfish. <laughs> this will. <laughs> Good man. So Trent, once again, finds the turtle. And he also finds the bracelet. What? How? Bingo! <laughs> hey! Hey, don't you ever learn? <laughs> oh, this the bracelet. <laughs> this is a really bad idea. So they rescue the turtle and bring back to some veterinarians. Gemma's mom. <laughs> Gemma! Gemma, you hurt? You said it's an emergency. It is. I think she's dying. Who? The turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I was so worried. You know the rules about not touching wild animals. <laughs> I told you we'd be in trouble. We had to do something. She's really sick. So the turtle has swallowed a plastic bag. This is actually happening right now in real life. Trent is really happy about the bracelet, but... Oh no, not the... Oh! Camel poo. Camel sh <laughs> Oh no. Go on, mate. Give it a rest. You'll scare the camels. <laughs> Camel in Australia? He goes home. Not the best first day. <laughs> kissy, kissy, kissy. Forget me never. Love me ever. <laughs> oh... That's the second time! Do we the siblings do this? <laughs> Fight? <laughs> but siblings always come together. What's this? I don't know yet. Ooh. It's the ocean star. Sounds like wood to me. It's a half finished model. <laughs> That's a mystery. But I might find out first. I've got some business to do with that. Reg Davis. <laughs> but on the way to Rick Davis, he meet Clive again! Hi you! Give it back. Oh. What? This? He actually stole it, to be fair. It's a special bad old bit of wood. It's as close to the ocean star <gasps> as any living man's ever oh. seen. He said it was a curse. It is. It's both. It's both a curse and the finest pearl ever seen in the South Seas. Any man who's had that in his hands will never be the same again. Get oh, you dropped the bracelet! <laughs> hey, sonny. Oh. Fair trade. <laughs> To be fair though, <laughs> I would have taken the money. So, Trent's mission now is to find the ocean star. It's about the curse and the finest pearl ever seen in the South Seas. Any man who's had that in his hands will never be the same again. So that was the first episode. Are you invested yet? <laughs> Trent and Gemma and the gang eventually comes together and become friends. So Trent have his brother Dylan to deep dive. Find the ocean star together. Have they found the ocean star? Oh, he's so mean. The ocean star. They have done it. He's done it. <laughs> so what will they do with it now? It's amazing. Deadly. Awesome. So what are we gonna do with it? I haven't got that far. <laughs> Remember what Clive saved. The curse. It's bad luck having the ocean star. Oh, Trent, come on, come on. Jared. Fingernails. Dirty! <laughs> Always clip your fingernails. Spotless. <laughs> so the story about Clive. Is he prick? Clive said it belongs in the memorial to the people who died because of it. <clears throat> Things bright and beautiful. <laughs> How will we know if it worked? The bad luck will go away like that. Oh! Leon? The kids doesn't want nothing to do with the star when it's bad luck. So they sell the star to Reg Davis. They are not wealthy like Carla, so they need the money. So Carla gets it. How much? $5,690. Australian dollars. <laughs> Fair deal. But bad luck is still happening. Trent's father 
is pilot away so he stays with Gemma but Trent's brother Dylan have a deep sea when he rush back up to the surface too fast the deep sea sickness what's wrong the tourist panicked and pulled my buoyancy vest it's the bends you get it when you come up from a dive too quickly this is all my fault I was the one who wanted the ocean stuff I was the one who brought the curse down on everyone there is no curse Clive made it up I thought we got rid of it I don't know if we ever will. So Dylan is in hospital, trying to recover. Dad? Not quite. I rang the airport. They tried radioing him, but because of the cyclone, they didn't get a response. Can't they pick him up on radar? So no one knows where he is? Don't worry, he's probably put down somewhere safe and waiting it out. It's all gonna be okay. Is it? Will the curse affect Carla? What, the curse? The spawn breath. Oh no! Daddy! Oh no, oh no, okay! So they rescue Rick Davis, but nothing is happening. They're doing CPR, everything. But Gemma figures out! 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Take it off! Take it off! It's Take beautiful, it off. though. <laughs> Get it away from me! Get it away! <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's Daddy. safe and sound. Hello? Reg is a little busy right now. Can he call you back? Spider, just call for an ambulance. <laughs> hey, before you go, can you call me an ambulance? Why can't you just call it by yourself? They don't know your location. <laughs> so the kids are not playing once and all. Get rid of the ocean star. Fall it back to the where it belong. To the sea, not the memorial. <laughs> Four years. We've been away on this. Let it go. You don't have to put it back. Yes. It's not cursed. Look at its glow. Look at all the bad things that have happened since we found it. I understand gold, gold fever. I maybe understand diamonds. It's beautiful. But pearls? Is it really that uh, beautiful? <laughs> if you keep it, you'll never be free of it. No. For four years, you've been stuck, Clive. Give it back. You'll be free. You're not free, Clyde. Go! So they say once goodbye to the ocean star before throwing it where it belongs. Think it through, it's beautiful! <laughs> Maybe we're wrong. Maybe the curse was all just coincidence. <laughs> It's <laughs> real, what? <laughs> Just checking, it's real. <laughs> so, this time he actually froze the ocean star. <laughs> Not like the wood time. It's now, the ocean star has now returned to its home. The sea. Oh, that's CGI. <laughs> that's it. It's gone. But nothing's changed. How do we know it's worked? No, things are different. I can feel them. How can you tell? Trends? Dad? What? Like that? That's my turn! <laughs> safe and sound. <laughs> that's not look safe, so safe. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what am I feeling? Run! A lot of running. <laughs> They're all happily together, safe and sound. Is Carla nice again? I made you some lunch. That's a start. Plain sugar sausage. Sausage. Here. Oh. I'm gonna go with the ocean star. You're not wearing it. I like mum's jewelry better. Oh. If she's not coming back, then she's not going to miss it. Oh. I forgot to say, I actually feel sorry for Carla because her mom left Ray and Carla. Oh, by the way, Ray David doesn't know that they gave back the Ocean Star. So he's 5,000 down. <laughs> Bad investment. <laughs> so they named this boat this Ocean Star. This was a great Star. idea, Susie. <laughs> now I'll always remember the Ocean Star. 
celebration stuff. And the fun we had looking for it. Oh, the fun's not over yet. There's much more stuff out there to find. Oh, no. <laughs> Trent Stenton goes for the run. He's running. He passes. So they are now having fun. He dodges. Playing football. You see what I did there? I said the name correctly in Australia. I learned that they don't say football with the feet. They say soccer like America. So football, American football. <laughs> and they meet! He scores! Yes! <gasps> nice dressed! Clive! <laughs> Who else? Oh, hair yeah. trim, everything. Got something for you. Oh. I don't have any need for it back over east. It's now yours. You're leaving town? Yeah, I'm going home. Maybe study accountancy as a mature age student. Ooh, it's, it's, it's never too old to learn new stuff. <laughs> well, what about your life here? The ocean star was what kept me here. Now I reckon I'm free to go wherever I want. I reckon so. Well, do you want me to look after the memorial? Yeah, a bit of a clean up now and then it'd be good. Just so they're not forgotten altogether. <laughs> I feel something. I knew it. I can feel the hair moving. You see? That's why I don't wear caps! Oh! Careful, you'll wreck the new clients. <laughs> See ya. Oh. See you later, Clive. Clive goes to the sunset. Find all sorts of good stuff for this. Oh yeah? Like what? Whatever's waiting to be found. Dad's new client is convinced that a plane crashed near the Truscott Air Base, carrying loads of treasure, oh, no. including the Kimberley Diamonds. <laughs> you ever heard of them? You're not serious. <laughs> it's a myth. An old wives' tale. That's what you said about That's the ocean. What stuff. you guys said about the ocean stuff. <laughs> what do you reckon we go out and find it? Maybe not. <laughs> what do you? <laughs> oh, they have a good time playing around. I hope they have some screen. <laughs> so that was awesome. So <laughs> such a good show. <laughs> Oh, I really want to visit Australia. The beach is so... <laughs> Not the sun. I don't like sun. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Ocean Star. Please watch every episode. Oh, it was such a good show. Hmm, I feel it's really underrated. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more Australian shows. We have just begun. January has been insane. We will keep doing Australian show because we have run out for the whole after January. I'll see you all the next time. Goodbye. <laughs> and remember, when you're out in the sun, wear caps, sunglasses, sunscreen. <laughs> the sun is strong, but good for you. The vitamin C, I think. <laughs>